Hello everyone, I'm Miss Jamie, a children's librarian with Tacoma Public Library, and I'm here today to bring you a story time. I'm going to be sharing just one book about dragons and a fun finger play flannel board rhyme here. And you are welcome to join us for another dragon story time where I will read a second book on a another uh, YouTube video clip here too. I'm gonna keep it nice and short here for you today. <laughs> so I always like to start a story time by saying hello. So please join me in my hello song. We clap and sing along. <laughs> well, hello everybody, how are you? Well, hello everybody, how are you? It's such a lovely day. I'm so glad you came to play. Well, hello, everybody. How are you? Thank you for singing with me. And I'm going to share with you me and my dragon. This is a library book here. You see, we got this one from Fern Hill. <laughs> and it has seven tips for raising a dragon at the very beginning here. Give him lots of room. Teach him how to fly. Walk him at least once a day. Keep a fire extinguisher handy. Read to him every night. Hug him every day. And never ever feed him broccoli. So I guess we'll find out why we shouldn't feed a dragon broccoli. Me and my dragon. And this is written by David Biedricki. Some kids want a dog. Others would like a cat. I want a dragon. But not a big dragon. A big dragon wouldn't fit in my house. I wouldn't want a three-headed dragon either. It might not get along with itself. I would choose a fire-breathing dragon. Can you breathe some dragon fire with me? <sighs> Before I brought him home, I'd take him for a checkup. I'd hold his hand and tell him he was a brave little dragon. I'd make sure the doctor gave him a couple of lollipops. Do you know what we call a doctor who works with animals? A veterinarian. On the way home, he could sit with me if mom and dad didn't mind. Oh, can you imagine seeing that driving down the street? I'd give him a name, a place to say, a place to stay, and some toys to play with. Oh, looks like they named him Sparky. When I thought he was ready, I would teach him to fly. Oh, there he goes. Oh, oh no. Oh, whew. he's just fine. I'd get him a collar and a leash. Then I'd take him for a walk every day. Does that look like the way you normally walk a dog? No, he's flying. If he was a naughty dragon, I might have to send him to school. Uh, what did he do? Looks like he got the mail truck. Off to obedience school. After he learned to behave, I could take him camping in the summer and trick-or-treating in the fall. We could clear neighbors' driveways in the winter, but I might not take him kite flying in the spring. Gotta be careful when your dragon breathes fire. <sighs> if I missed the bus, he would help me get to school just in time for show and tell. Ooh, what else is uh, visiting the classroom? We've got a fish and some hamsters. Bullies? If you have a dragon, you don't need to worry about bullies. You don't need to worry about Brussels sprouts either. Dragons love them. But don't give them broccoli. It gives them gas. And you don't want a fire-breathing dragon with gas. Every night, I'd give my dragon a bath. Bath time would be fun. Sometimes. It's a little messy, isn't it? 
I would pick out books that wouldn't give him nightmares and read to him until he got sleepy. I'd tuck him in and say good night. Then we'd fall asleep, just me and my dragon. The end. And now we've got time for just one rhyme right here. This is five little dragons. And you can hold up your dragons with me right here. Five dragons. One, two, three, four, five. Five little dragons with great big scales. One lost his balance and bumped his tail. He cried, ouch, and breathed some fire. Can you breathe some fire with me? And then he flew away higher and higher. And now we have four little dragons. One, two, three, four. Four little dragons with great big scales. One lost his balance and bumped his tail. He cried, ouch, and breathed some fire. <sighs> and then he flew away higher and higher. How many dragons do we have now? Three. One, two, three. Three little dragons with great big scales. One lost his balance and bumped his tail. He cried, ouch, and breathed some fire. <sighs> and then he flew away higher and higher. Now we have two dragons. One, two. Two little dragons with great big scales. One lost his balance and bumped his tail. He cried, ouch, and breathed some fire. <sighs> And then he flew away, higher and higher. How many dragons do we have now? Just one, right there. One little dragon with great big scales. He lost his balance and bumped his tail. He cried, ouch, and breathed some fire. <sighs> and then he flew away, higher and higher. Thank you for joining me for the short story time here with me and my dragon and five little dragons. Please feel free to join us for some more story times, both short and long, on our YouTube, to, on our YouTube channel. <laughs> Thank you again for joining. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We clap our hands for all our friends. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We clap our hands for all our friends. We wave goodbye like this. <laughs> goodbye like this. We clap our hands for all our friends. We wave goodbye like this. <laughs> <laughs>